What's up everybody, Superdux fan here for another car review. This is of course the 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Huge thanks to Car Guy 11 on YouTube for hooking me up with this brand new Jeep Cherokee to review for you guys today. So about the Jeep Cherokee, well you know these came out a couple of years ago and I was a little iffy on how they looked. You know a lot of people thought it was a little too aggressive, but over the years and especially with this Trailhawk version, I think it looks a lot better now and uh, the looks have really grown on me. And um, you know obviously it's trail rated, it's a proper 4x4 and uh, you know this one has the V6 of course, so it also as the meaty engine and um, I think it's just it's one of the legitimate crossovers you know so many of these cars are pretending to be crossovers the Jeep is the true crossover SUV that you can take off-roading and it is still very luxurious and comfortable inside so you really have the best of both worlds right so for the interior of the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk well it's very nice Jeep interiors have been so much improved over the past few years and um, so anyway first thing sitting down in these seats they're very nice they actually feel really cool you know you have the combination of cloth and leather here and uh, you know the bolstering it's obviously Obviously this is an SUV so we're not going to go by sports car standards here but you know they do have pretty good bolsters they're on the wide side but they're very comfortable and they will hold you in you know if you're going in corners and stuff um, there is you know the, a nice bolster there um, but they're very comfortable and it's nice to have the cloth as well because you kind of are held in place while still having the luxury of the leather so that's nice uh, next is the steering wheel in the Jeep here which is a, a very nice wheel uh, it's nicely leather wrapped and uh, it has a few buttons here but nothing overwhelming um, you know it's just a good simple wheel it has a good nine and three grip another cool thing you know, like all the Fiat Chryslers uh, of the past decade really have these buttons here behind the wheel as well which will control your volume and uh, tuning the radio stations and things like that which uh, is very cool and a very ingenious thing that I'm surprised more companies haven't adopted Next is the gauges in the Jeep, which are very cool. I love how they're integrating those large center screens into the gauge clusters now. And I think Jeep and the whole Fiat Chrysler group does it better than most. And so, you know, you have your two basic analog gauges, of course, with the tachometer and the speedometer. And then you have that center gauge there, which will give you all kinds of information, such as infotainment and all those kind of things, but will also give you all the different gauges as far as what the car is doing, you know, oil temperatures and all that kind of stuff, fuel economy, of course. Coming along to the of the dashboard here um it's really nice you know i think again the whole fiat chrysler group does a really good job with their infotainment this is the eight inch uconnect touchscreen which is one of the best in the industry as far as responsiveness and ease of use and um so i mean everything is right here in the bottom you know very easy to get to and you know the screen graphics are very nice and you have that cool desert kind of background for some of the screens there and obviously the navigation maps are uh, pretty high resolution and very nice looking and uh, overall just a very nice unit um, it's just very clean and it's nicely integrated here into the dash and that's it I mean it's a very clean uh, center stack here you, you just have your basic two knobs one for volume one for tune just how I like it really and then you have one knob there to control the climate and all the knobs have a pretty good resistance and then coming down to the center here you have this big knob for your four-wheel drive control and you have all the different modes you can put it in and um, so I mean this is a true off-roader and you really can take it through all these different uh, terrains and it'll handle it just fine and um, as far as storage space goes in the uh, Jeep it's really good so you know you have uh, bottle pockets here in the doors you can really fit like two bottles in there which is a first uh, so very roomy uh, compartment there and then coming along to the center you have a little cubby here nothing super huge but you can fit you know change or gum things like that kind of in there it's nice to have the power outlet you also have your auxiliary port a USB port and you have your SD card slot there as well so very cool to have all those um, hookups right there and uh, you know other cool uh, storage spaces coming up to the top of the center stack here you have a little uh, sunglass holder which is very unique you also have a sunglass holder up here uh, in the roof so that's good to have all those you have your two cup holders which are illuminated as well very cool feature you have this little space back here uh, not really sure what you could put in there but you can fit maybe your key or you know put a few little little uh, knickknacks in there and then coming along to the uh, center console here it's nicely padded and uh, pretty soft leather have the nice red stitching which is an exclusive thing of the Trailhawk in addition to the stitching on the back of the seats and the red stitching you can find elsewhere throughout the car um, but anyway so uh, this is a two-tiered center console you have a top tray here which is good for holding pens and paper and then you have this larger one which is very deep and uh, you have another power outlet another USB jack and this is also where you'll find your CD slot um, because it's an option to get a CD player in this car. Uh, 
um, of course, because you know everyone's getting rid of CDs slowly here. And so to make the clean center stack that you see here, they uh, moved the CD player to down here. And I think that's a very clever idea. And uh, it's nicely out of the way, and you still have uh, plenty of storage space in there as well. And another really cool uh, storage space that's kind of hidden in this vehicle is the passenger seat bottom flips up there, and then you can put all kinds of stuff in there too. So all kinds of cool little cubbies and storage areas, and uh, that's, a, that's a very good idea. And um, so you can tell they definitely made this with versatility in mind. As far as back seat space goes in the Jeep, it's uh, very nice as well. Super comfortable seats, lots and lots of leg room. I mean, plenty of headroom. Obviously, a very roomy back seat. This is an SUV after all, so there's no worries about roominess or space whatsoever. Another cool feature about the back seat is that it also slides forward and backwards. So that's something you normally only get in more luxurious SUVs. And so uh, you can really custom tailor if you don't need as much cargo space or you need more leg room, you can just move it forward or backwards for that. So uh, very cool to have that as well. Trunk space in the Jeep is nice. You have a power lift gate there and um, you have plenty of space to fit all kinds of stuff. And it has a full size spare here for the Trailhawk as well. And that still stows neatly away and you still have plenty of room. And um, really, you know, for a vehicle of this size, it's about as much as you can expect. And uh, it's just a really nice and versatile vehicle. All right, so let's start off and go for a drive. Um, you know, these Jeeps now with the keyless uh, push button start just has this fob that you can keep in your pocket and you hit the engine start button and it starts right up. All right, so setting off in the 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk here. So first thing you notice, uh, you know, you do sit up a little bit higher in this like you would expect uh, out of a Jeep SUV and it's a very commanding uh, driving position, I'll say, and it's, it's very nice. Another thing you notice is it's extremely smooth and quiet. Um, Jeeps really, like I said, they just, they're so refined. It's just such a far cry from the Wranglers of the past and stuff. I mean, this actually feels just extremely luxurious, uh, which is something that you don't always uh, could say about Jeeps in the past. So uh, but anyway, so I mean, visibility is very good. You know, good visibility forward here. Uh, you yeah, have large side windows and you do have a B pillar here, but it doesn't get in the way too much. And um, yeah, I mean, rear visibility is very good there with the hatch. And uh, so we're on this very uh, bumpy road and uh, give me a very good Good feel for how the suspension is in here and uh, as we're going around a little corner as well and it's very nice you know the steering is very smooth and uh, it's very quiet in here and uh, it will come up with some really heavy bumps here and we'll see just how bad it is on a poorly maintained road and um, it's not bad at all I mean it really it soaks them up really well we even hit these potholes on purpose and it's, it's wow it's it's really it's actually luxury car like levels of refinement that's pretty good stuff so uh you know most suvs you think oh they're gonna have a rougher ride but this absolutely does not it's definitely very smooth and uh, very refined i'm impressed all right so uh, let's turn on to the straight road here first we'll put it into sport mode it takes a second for the mechanical stuff to switch around and uh so yeah let's uh, see how this power is This isn't any race car, but I mean it gets up and goes pretty well. So we're dealing with this is the V6 version, which is an option. 3.2 liter V6 engine has 271 horsepower and 239 pounds feet of torque. So I mean this is a heavy vehicle. It's a little right around 4,000 pounds, and uh, so but I mean that's enough heft to get it going down the road pretty well. I've heard some people say the four cylinder is a little anemic, but this one is a very, it moves it down the road very very well. And um, obviously once again you're buying an SUV, not a sports car, so. Uh, you can't expect anything that's mind-blowing but I mean it is a very healthy performer and uh, you know you have the sport mode and it actually will you know be rear-wheel drive biased and give you some pretty decent performance so it, uh, it makes it a little more fun but anyway just cruising along on some you know regular suburban roads here uh, and this is where this car is going to live most of its life is on roads like this and this is where it shines it's very comfortable there's a really good reason why Jeep is the number one sales leader right now and it's for this it's a very nice commuter car for just you know driving in traffic and just driving along you know doing your normal daily errands and stuff it's very nice and refined and it's just a nice vehicle you have a nine speed automatic transmission in this uh, the ninth gear doesn't even engage till over 80 miles per hour though um, but obviously it gets pretty good gas mileage because of that uh, he, the owner of this car is averaging around uh, 22 23 miles per gallon and uh, so I mean, it's pretty good for a crossover you know and uh, having the v6 as well so I mean a pretty respectable fuel economy I could take this car on some you know hectic back roads but no one's gonna drive 
drive a Jeep aggressively on a back road. So it's kind of pointless for me to do things like that with it. And so in this kind of driving, it really shines. Well, we'll just go around a few corners here for the heck of it, just to see. And uh, it, it's pretty flat. I mean, I, I mean, maybe the steering could be a little bit heavier here. Um, it's kind of numb feeling. That's one thing I can say. The steering doesn't feel like it's really connected in a whole lot. You don't feel anything going on with the road much. Um, but then again, that's something that a lot of people don't want because they want refinement. They don't want to feel every pothole through the steering wheel and stuff. So uh, it, it does a very good job of isolating you. Um, it's not you know the most visceral driving experience, of course. Um, but again, that's what most people want. Most people want refinement. They want something that you don't feel everything. And so I think that's what Jeep was going for with this and they did a very good job. And again, this is a you know 4,000 pound SUV, so you feel the weight whenever you really start to push it. Um, but again, if you're trying to drive a Jeep like a aggressive race car driver, then you're uh, probably in the wrong car. But uh, another corner here just for the heck of it. And um, yeah, I mean, it handles itself well enough that you know if you're in a hurry or something, you're going around some corners, it's not gonna be a pain in the butt. Um, but of course, it's no back road warrior. One thing that does feel pretty good as we're coming up to brake for this corner is the brakes. The brakes have, actually have a really nice meaty feel and uh, it's something you want whenever you're driving you know, a big SUV. I mean, not that this is huge, but you want something that can stop itself well and this does. It, it has a great pedal feel, it's very confidence inspiring and uh, it's very safe feeling. And when we're talking about the pedals, you know, the gas pedal uh, in the regular auto mode is a little bit dead, but you know, whenever you put it down to the sport mode, the owners actually told me that whenever you do put it into that sport mode, um, it actually makes things a little bit too aggressive and um, you know it's more ready to downshift and uh, everything's a little bit sharper again this doesn't transform it into a race car but it does give it a more sporty character and it's great that it actually makes a more rear-wheel drive bias with this uh, four-wheel drive system and um, so yeah it's uh, it actually even turns off trash control for you when you do that and everything so it's uh, it's a pretty serious sport mode especially for an SUV also, when it's in sport mode, it uh, likes holding gears as well. So it's not the kind of mode you want to leave the car in if you want to get good fuel economy. Because I'm just cruising along at 35 and it's still sitting at 3,000 RPMs just because it wants to be ready in case I decide to put my foot into it again. And then whenever you do, it uh, responds accordingly. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool thing that they even have a sport mode in a Jeep. Because uh, aside from the SRT, no one really buys a Jeep to drive aggressively. So uh, it's nice that it has that. And... Um, and they've really covered all their bases here with this car. You know, it's got all the dedicated off-road features that people that do off-roading like. Um, but it also has sport modes for people like me that, you know, hop in it for the random uh, sporty driving experience once in a very, very blue moon. One other thing I want to talk about real quick is uh, the radio in this car, which is actually really good. This is the base stereo. I think you can get an upgraded one in this car if you like. But this base stereo sounds really good, actually. It has really good bass and... Um, it's, it has a very cool like surround sound kind of sound to it and uh, Jeeps always have seemed to do pretty good with their stereos and the uh, Grand Cherokee and the Cherokee and so this one I'm actually really impressed with it sounds great and um, so yeah I mean it's a very nice thing and I really appreciate Car Guy 11 on YouTube for allowing me to review his Jeep here today and uh, you know it's just it's it's a very nice SUV, you know, and uh, I don't do too many SUVs on this channel. I wanted to do it, you know, it's something a little different. I'm seeing these things everywhere, so I wanted to see what all the hype was about because they're extremely popular, and now I can see why, you know, for someone that doesn't drive sportingly and just wants a nice commuter car that looks cool and is very capable, this thing is perfect, and, uh, you know, it just, it really does just about everything aside from the, sp I mean, even it, do it does do sporty driving, but that's the only weak spot is obviously being an SUV, it doesn't do that. That stuff well but everything else it's just so nice and um, you know it's a great family hauler uh, adventure car all that good stuff without having to sacrifice anything you really get the best of both worlds you get the luxury you get the sportiness you get the rugged off-road stuff but it's still comfortable it doesn't beat you up and uh, it's just it's a very well done job by Jeep and um, so anyway huge thanks once again to Car Guy 11 for allowing me to review his Jeep here and uh, let me know what you think about him. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.